What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Path of the Network Marketer, day 15. All right, day 15. We're into our third week of this crazy, crazy journey. Um, thank you for tuning into the podcast. If you haven't already um, followed, go ahead and follow the podcast. And if this is your first episode, go back and, and binge this. They're pretty short episodes, but um, a lot of this content builds one on top of the other, excuse me, one on top of the other from episode to episode. And, and this today's episode will very much be the same. Um, and if you're watching, on YouTube, obviously go ahead and subscribe because there's a new episode every day. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, t- today I'm going to talk about content, right? What to post, what to post. Again, that's a very big question, especially for people who aren't necessarily, you know, active in social media. Um, again, you know, if you go back to the earlier episodes from week one, I did, I did talk about shifting the mindset over from from being a content consumer uh, to being a content creator and that you have to be really much more intentional and purposeful with your content you know not just sharing you know what you happen to be doing right now you know not it's not a it's not a hey look at me situation anymore right like now it has to become um, something that's that's purpose driven and has and that is very intentional um so you know the question then becomes, well, what, what do I post then? Um, for me, after, after, you know, after we, we get through the, the idea of um, uh, documenting versus creating content, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a simple guide that, that, I've, that I've come up with, and that's uh, uh, JCJ. Um, and, and, and acronyms, right? Like everybody loves acronyms. Um, so the first J is your journey. That's all. You're sharing your story with every, 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 every person has a story. And, um, you know, with, with network marketers in particular, you have already there a story, right? Like you have your story, um, whatever it is that your journey, that your day-to-day journey looks like. Um, if you're integrating your network marketing with it, especially, you know, what it is that, that you're, you're going for. Right, like your goals, your vision in your life, what it is that that you're working towards, and what that what that journey looks like on a day to day. For instance, for me, I, I'm very much into health. Uh, I'm very much obviously into into marketing and network marketing. Those are kind of my areas of of, of expertise. Fitness and running. So I share my runs. I share fitness tips, running tips. I share nutrition tips. I share network marketing tips. I share personal development. So those are the kind of things, the kinds of things on my journey. I mean, occasionally I'll, I'll, I'll share like, okay, this is what's what I, what I happen to be doing right now. If, if I think I like, if something fun that I want to share with, but that's another, that's another one of the letters in the acronym I'll get into in a second. But mainly it's journey, right? Like journey. Um, I think, again, if you focus on sharing your journey um, and especially with authenticity, people are going to connect to it. The right people are going to connect to you, right? Like we all have our own audiences um, that we're going to attract that's unique to us. And, and we can only do that if we're authentic and sharing our journey. So C, the, the, so that's the J. C, the, the letter C, it stands for challenges. Obviously, every story, I mean, if you look at, if you look at storytelling, if you look at movies, I'm a big movie fan, um, every movie has that, that, that thing, right? Like the challenge um, that, that the, our main character or your hero has to experience and go through and has to figure out and solve. So, you know, on our, on our individual journeys, we all have challenges that, that we face. And I think the, 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 the willingness to share these things on, on the social platforms, and of course, you don't have to get super personal um but every uh, like especially with network marketing we all have our challenges right and to share that challenge i think um or to share those challenges i think really um it 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 creates even more authenticity again the more authentic you are the more real you are the more people will connect to you and and if people know that you're human just like them and you're experiencing challenges just like them that they're going to want to follow you even more they're going to want to you know go with you on that journey Um, because then the next j is sharing your joy right because they want to see that there's that there's a resolution right like they want to see that 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 there's a win after that challenge so j journey c your challenge, J, your joy, J C J, joy. Anything, anything that that you happen to happen to enjoy in life, right? Like I think the internet needs more of that, especially, right? But especially if you want, if you can share your wins, things that you're happy about, celebrate, celebrate those things. I am all about celebration. If uh, if you guys haven't checked out my other podcast, uh, Path of the Network Market. Oh, no, sorry, that's that's this podcast, Path of the Jedi. It's personal development meets meets Star Wars. Every episode, I I celebrate, right? I, I give a shout out to um, to uh, an individual or a group of individuals because it's a celebration. People love celebration, right? Um, 
share your joy, share your joy. So um, whatever it happens to be, share your wins with, with your audience um, because that's part of the story, right? The more complete, again, um, the, the more aspects that you can share, uh, the more authentic and the more, um, the more your audience will get to know you. And, and obviously we all know as network marketers, the more audience, audiences get to like, know, and trust you. Well, that the trust is the final piece, right? The more they, they get to like and, and know you, um, know and like you, the more they'll trust you and then therefore your message will have more weight and you'll have you'll you'll grow your influence along with growing your audience so that's my message for today jcj use that guideline for your social media posts all right so we'll catch you tomorrow guys a fresh new episode again if you haven't already liked go ahead and like subscribe hit, hit me with a, a rating hit me with a review that'll be really helpful on youtube go ahead and subscribe more to come from me until then we'll see you in the next episode be well be safe Talk to you guys later.